Hello everyone, welcome to this brief recorded session on the billing rate level. Uh, you know there's a way for people in your firm or in your company that depending on their status, whether they're say master classman journeyman or even say in an accountant firm, someone doing a file cleanup versus say a business planning or consultant, you can have them and allow to apply different billing rate levels depending on their level of expertise instead of having to overwrite it and put it on the invoice when you, you know, invoice your customers. So under the list menu we have billing rate level list I'll go ahead and do a new one here. You see there's an option between a fixed hourly rate or custom hourly rate per service item. So if I were to add, um, edit this one, I've chosen a fixed one on the business plan or consulting. It's $200. This would be the fixed hourly rate. And I'm going to go ahead to my employee center. Or you could do this to your subcontractor or vendor. If you actually edit the employee and click on the additional info tab, you'll see here's the billing rate level goes. So much similar to the price levels, except on the employee and the vendor side or the cost side, we'll say. So there's the CDR one. And then what I, I did is I went ahead and created a timesheet for some work that uh, Jeff did. And here we have the work, and he has the service item CDR and the hourly rate, and we'll say 40 hours. I guess it was a pretty messy QuickBooks file there. And then when you actually go to the invoice, and I'll put in the actual customer. I'll go ahead and get rid of that, and then it has select outstanding billable time and costs. You see that the billing rate is right there, and that's what will flow on over to the invoice. Okay, not what he makes hourly or the what you have for the service item for the CDR, but the actual billing rate depending on his level of expertise. I hope that's helpful. You guys have a great day.